um, Ms. Kaczynski's classes started some conversations earlier this year called Conversations for Change within her classes, in particular in one hour, her fourth hour class, of which Kelsey's a member, they began to have a Conversations for Change every Friday, and out of that grew a request from the students in there to do something as students about bullying here at Cactus Canyon, and uh, they now have a huge group called Cougars for Change, and that has led to um, something that's going to be taking place next week, and we're doing the kickoff with Kelsey today, and she's addressing every student here at school today through their science class. Oh, there's a lot of you. <laughs> um, I've done this two times and it's still really hard to talk about because I don't understand personally how bullying feels, but I do understand the effects of bullying. The loneliness, the depression, the pain, feeling ashamed, and not being able to speak up about what's going on. And a lot of the times, and in some of the cases, students do commit suicide because of bullying. And I understand that feeling because I've been on that edge and I've tried to commit suicide several times. And I know how hard it is to get up and to continue. <coughs> What's pretty amazing about today is it's a leap year. This day doesn't exist. It only exists every other four years. So it's pretty special and we're making time to talk about this, to make a difference, to start a change. We took a poll as a group at the Dwarah doing conversations for change and more people have seen bullying than not being able to see it at all. And a lot of people feel like bullying is a part of growing up. And that is the biggest lie you will ever hear. Bullying isn't normal. Normal is what we accept as a society and say it's okay. And that it's alright. And it's not okay. And it's not alright. Because words, words do hurt. Physical wounds, physical bruises, those, those go away. They don't leave scars. Words stay with you for the rest of your life. And they hurt. They hurt so badly. And for a lot of people who've been bullied, I was so, I was writing articles for the newspaper and kids came up to me and they were saying, and I got really, really fast replies. People were telling me some of the most heartbreaking stories. They were tragedy. And they kept saying, well, I spoke up and I told my teachers and I told other people, but they didn't care and they didn't do anything and no one heard me. It doesn't matter. I'm not important. And my heart broke because they felt so alone. Because they, they did what they were, told. they were told. They spoke up to other people. They spoke up to their teachers. And they, teachers can only do so much. They can only say, stay away from that kid. Don't talk to the kid. Leave that kid alone. But they're not there 24-7. They can't. That change as a student body it has to come from us. It has to be every single one of you trying. Because you guys make the difference. You are the school. What we want to do is, as Careers for Change, we aren't an organization or a club. This club is kind of like, well, we only accept certain people. No, we accept everybody. We want everybody to take part in this. We're a movement. And what we want to do is we want to spread awareness about the effects of bullying and how it can be stopped and that there is hope and that we can make a difference and we can make a change in other people's lives. What a lot of, some of the reasons for bullying is we don't accept people who are different. We don't accept people who dress differently than we do or talk differently or say things differently or just completely different than who we are. And what we need to do as a student body is we have to accept people for who they are and not for what they aren't. We have to accept diversity. I'm not saying you've got to like them. I'm just saying you have to tolerate them and be like, you're okay. You're not any different than me because you're still a student and you're still a human being and I'm still going to treat you with respect because that's what you deserve. And 
I know there's people here right now who have either been a victim or they have bullied themselves or they have been bystanders of bullying and what I want to tell you because I know you don't hear it a lot is that you're important and that you count and that every single one of you in this room has a voice so speak up and stand up for what is right you can be a hero, you can make a difference, and you can make a change. Stand up for that kid who's always getting teased or doesn't always talk a lot. Go say hello. Or that kid that you know your friends are always talking about behind their backs, tell them, hey, that's not okay. That's not all right. Because if we make those changes, if we try to be a better student, better students here, we can make a really, really, really big difference. So, it's all I really want to say, and thank you for listening, guys. What we really hope will happen is that not only do we have fun next week, but with the Spirit Week, but that we're changing the climate of Cactus Canyon and eventually we hope to change the climate of the community and of all of the schools. You all are going to the high school next year and you'll have an opportunity to take this feeling with you. And those of you who have Mrs. Henry for math or you go to the high school for math or Mrs. Ayler or Mrs. Galvin, you've learned exponents and you know what exponential growth means. There's 758 kids at this school if 758 students tell one other person about this, now we're at over 1,500, and so on and so on. And that's how exponential growth goes, as you know. Everything has to begin with one person. And one person sent me an email that said, can we do this? Look at this link Ms. Kaczynski gave us, and then the conversations with her class, and it spread from there. So. Kelsey's done a great job. She felt really passionate about speaking to each of you, and I appreciate you listening. She's addressed half the school now, so she has another half to go. Next week, a lot of fun. First day, wear yellow for smiling and for brightness. If you've got smiley face shirts or stickers, anything smiley face, wear that. We're trying to start the week off brightly. Looking forward to the end of the week. It's going to be a whiteout. You know how you use whiteout to cover up mistakes? Well, they're going to whiteout bullying on Friday. So everybody's going to dress completely in white on next Friday. So we've got a lot of cool things ahead of us with that. 